Hi and welcome back to Will Candles. My name is Sherry and I make videos all about candle making and the candle business. Today's video is all about the candle business and what's been going on behind the scenes. Welcome back everyone. Um, I hope you all had great holidays. If you are someone that doesn't celebrate the holidays, I hope that you've been well. I hope you've been learning some new things about your candles. All my newbies that are on here, welcome, welcome. All my friends that are already on here, my members, um, just a big shout out and a big hello and so good to be back on here chatting with you again. I hope that you have some great progress to report to me. So I am going to just, you know me, I have handy dandy notes down here. I'm going to jump into this. Um, I am actually filming this December the 30th. So tomorrow is actually New Year's Eve. And this is when the video is going to go up. So I'm just going to go ahead and wish you a happy New Year's because it will be coming up very soon and I hope you have some look. I had a chance to look back on 2023 and maybe focus a little more on what you did achieve versus what you didn't. And the, anything that you didn't just roll it into 2024. That's how we do that. We stay positive here. Okay, so I want to touch on some of my life updates. So I'm going to start with Okay, the first week of December, this is something that I knew was coming up. Um, I had been asked to do this like several months ago and I was nervous because it was my very, very first time. But what did I do the first week of December? I hosted my very first candle making party and it went really, really well. Um, in fact, the people... They, well, one person in particular sent me a message the next day and she said, I couldn't even tell that this was your first time. She said, I know that's what you said, but I, I, I made it through it and um, the host or the birthday person, I should say, was very pleased. The guest had a really great time. So I'm really happy about how it turned out. So what does that have to do with you all? Well, um, what was a surprise to me at this party was one... Um, it, it's it's a money maker for candle. Make. It's another way to make income by being a candle maker. Um, I had brought some candles with me, more or less to display, to give them a feel for real candles and kind of what my product lo looks like. And I really didn't expect the sales that I received. So I was not prepared. I wished I would have brought more candles with me. So next time <laughs> I'll make sure that I am very well prepared for the candle sales. Also, um, before leaving, two people were interested in having a party hosted for them as well. So that was like a win-win situation. It was fun. Um, they fed me at the party. So um, they enjoyed their candles. In fact, after I talked to them um, a week or so after the party, they were like, I'm still burning my candle. It smells so amazing. So all, I say all of that to say I will be doing a video so that I can show you um, how I did it, how, um, you know, the equipment that I had, um, kind of like the the um, timeline of what we did and how I accomplished that with a group. I did have a group of 15 and um, it went, went really, really well. Okay, so moving on. The second and third week of December... Um, Mm. Candle sales were booming. Candle sales came from every direction. So many last minute people and um, so many friends, families, friends of friends, friends of family members, all searching for that last minute gift. And they actually kind of showed up at my tour. I mean, I had online sales, but I had quite a bit of sales that um, came to my front door. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move up just a little bit to Christmas Day. I get a call from someone and they say, Miss Sherry, do you think uh, if you're not busy today, I know it's Christmas Day. Yes, on Christmas Day. Um, could I stop by and get a couple candles? And I wasn't really busy and I knew this particular person. And I was like, sure. Well, he didn't just come to get a couple of candles. They got quite a few candles and it was quite a large sale. And I was so happy. They were happy 
to be here to get gifts. And I, of course, I had the tissue paper. I had the gift bags. All my branding was on point. I let them, you know, pick and choose from the candles because I also keep um, candles on hand here at the house. And I had them all, I had gift tags for them. I had everything. They walked out here like they had just been to, I, I don't know, one of the more popular <laughs> candle stores, but they were happy and I was happy with the candle sales. And I was happy that whoever was going to receive these candles was going to receive a great gift for the holidays. So that all worked out. So that happened on Christmas day. And here's a look at the culprits that showed up at my house on Christmas day. The next thing that happened actually was my birthday. So my birthday is actually two days after Christmas. It is December the 27th. And I um, I have mixed feelings about my birthday, um, probably because it's always entangled into the holidays. And, and as a child, and no fault of my mom's. My mom always baked me a cake. She always gave me gifts. She always gave me a card. But I never, ever, ever got to have birthday parties as a child. So um, I, I just got really used to it. I mean, I, I don't make a big deal out of my birthday. And... Um, I just, I just don't. So long story short, um, my cousin, her daughter is graduating with her master's degree. And she said she wanted to have a get together um, for her, um, you know, to celebrate her accomplishment. And I was like, well, do you want me to help you? You know, do, do you need anything? Oh, no, no, no. So I show up to, and I call her my niece because she, of the age difference between myself and my cousin's daughter. So they call me Aunt Cher and I'd say that's my niece. And um, I walk in the door and they're yelling, surprise! And I'm thinking that my niece is behind me. And I'm so I'm looking and I'm looking at these people, but they're also saying happy birthday. Yes, they threw me a happy, surprise happy birthday party <laughs> so and, and it's funny how the brain works you know it takes you a minute like you're you walk in that door well I walked in that door thinking one thing and then okay it wasn't the reality that I walked into but it was it was crazy how it took my brain like several minutes to get it together like I'm just standing there in a state of shock I guess but it was an amazing party and actually my sons um they you know they financed it and they put it all together and and my cousin actually um helped them to organize everything and get it all together so it was beautiful so for those of you wondering how old I turn Oh, shall I reveal this on this YouTube channel? Because it will forever be out there. Um, okay, I guess I will. So if you want to pause now and put down in the comments what your guess might be. Um, I'm just going to, well, how about this? I'm just going to put a picture of my cake up on the screen. So there it is. Take a look at my cake. Yes, that is what I turned on December the 27th. Yes. So, um, I had a great birthday. I had a, a really good time and a great birthday. And, um, and that's that. Okay. So with all that was going on through the holidays, obviously I had not posted, um, a video kind of in between the last one. It's been over a month since I've posted a video from everything that was going on. The holidays became, a bit much preparing for my own family's holidays and also dealing with the candle sales. And also I have a store now that has accepted um, my candles and I was preparing a wholesale order and the wholesale order, I had made all the candles, but it wasn't supposed to ship to like, you know, the first week of January, but I have sold half of the wholesale order. So now I've got to hustle and get those candles remade and get them prepared to be shipped out. Um, fortunately, they are some, made of some very good fragrances that, I mean, a good three, four days of cure time and, and they are on point. So I say all that to say as well, be prepared. Do not underestimate your candle sales. And I mean... I just didn't think these holidays could get any crazy. I mean, it was all good news. It wasn't anything bad, but it was like, oh, you know, because I just never think, just like I never thought that this YouTube channel would amount to much of anything. So I do want to say thank you. I have now reached over a thousand subscribers. I think 
as a matter of fact, I'm at a thousand four. Am I at 400? I think I'm at, as of now, I'm at a thousand four hundred and something subscribers. And I actually received a paycheck from YouTube. So that was shocking. And I thought, hmm, so I suppose this is a real thing. I just never, um, I honestly didn't know what was going to happen with my candle making. Well, I guess in the beginning, I didn't even intend for it to be a business. It turned out to be a business. I didn't think that my YouTube channel would um, amount to too much. And it, but now over a thousand subscribers and a paycheck, I mean, it wasn't a whole lot, but it was just the fact that, wow, you know, this is a real thing. This is, um, this is interesting. And then all of the feedback from you guys, all of the questions, and I always try to get your questions answered, the love that you show, um, the comments that you make. Uh, someone today, as a matter of fact, as I was getting ready to shoot this video, someone made a comment about um, that, I guess they said I have beautiful green eyes or something like that. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if I should reveal the little unknown facts about people with green eyes. <laughs> No, I'm not going to reveal that. It's just something I read one day in some kind of science research thing. Um, but I will say that, well, my mother had brown eyes. My father had blue eyes. And I guess between that cross, I got it. Um, and if you all haven't guessed by now, uh, my nationality is rather diverse. I d actually did my DNA and I was surprised to learn that the very top nationality that I am at 22% was actually from Scotland. Um, I kind of knew, you know, you kind of figure something's different, but to think it and to know it is two different things. So I guess that kind of all explains the green eye thing. But anyway, the person who made the comment, um, thank you so much. And they also said I had a very welcoming um, personality about me. And I appreciate that. I do. I appreciate you guys' interaction with me. I feel like you're my friends. And, um, you know, and I'm so glad that I am here that help you. I think the number one comment that I've been getting is that how... I take my time and explain things. And that probably comes from the fact that I've been a nurse for almost 28 years now. And so we must be very detail oriented. And I mean, after 20 some years of that, it's, it's, it's just what we do. So I'm glad that that is a part of me and that it is very helpful to all of you. Okay, so moving on. As the new year approaches, I want you guys to think about, okay, where are you with your candle making progress? Those of you who actually want to create a business, where are you at? Are you in the very beginning where you're testing and you're trying to create candles that um, are testing well or and you're trying to get to your, your eight to 10 um, candles? If you are there, I would say continue that journey because really without that base of candles, that is your selection. Um, you won't be able to move on to the next steps. For those of you that are in the middle, you have your candles made and you are ready to start um, looking for sales and maybe you have or have not um, done your website. Now, I think, you know, it's, it's time to get your name locked in, the, your business name locked in. And I would start with... Um, kind of searching inside of yourself. Don't make it too wordy. Kind of keep it simple. Also, check your state um, business register and make sure that that name is not already being used. Google it and check it out. I need to do a whole video on the business aspect of candle making. So that definitely is coming up in 2024. I've, I've dibbed and dabbed in it a little bit. Um, but I really think I need to take you all step by step of everything that you need to do, like as far as collecting sales tax and getting your, your website. I have touched on it, but there are some things that I could um, provide you. And so if you have any questions, this is a great video for you to put those questions down below so that I can begin addressing them early in 2024. Okay. Also, if you are a beginner or you're somewhere in the middle and you still don't quite have your candles, I created a, a playlist. I think it's, it's how to, it, it may be how to make coconut soy, but it's the whole playlist of the videos that where I'm actually teaching you the skill of, you know, mixing your fragrances, um, 
adding color if that if you so choose to add color um, how to make your coconut soy candles a lot of you have written to me and you've asked me well does this work for this wax or does this work for that wax okay so I'm gonna answer that <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna answer that if you're using a different wax look on the manufacturer's website or wherever you purchase that wax from the two biggest things that are going to be different is going to be your your melting what you heat that wax to uh well not two things three things actually what you're going to heat your wax up to when you're going to add your fragrance and when you're going to pour into your container those are the three variables that will change if you are using different waxes I mean, there are some other things like, do you warm up your jars or do you not? Do you do a slow cool down? Um, but those are the main things that you need to do. So I primarily work with coconut soy. So that is what I know, like the back of my hand, even though I've dibbed and dabbed in other waxes. Um, make sure that you go on the website, wherever you purchase that wax from, or look on the packaging and see if it provides you with that information. Okay, so for those of you who are in the middle, like you, you have your candles and you're like, okay, how do I, I make sales? Now is the time, if you haven't already, to start learning about social media. Start looking into, you know, do you want to get a Facebook page or do you or do you not have a website already? And you might want to turn to Shopify for that. Um, you definitely want to look into Instagram. What I see the most of, and this is what I'm just now, my candle sales for me primarily came easy, but now it's time to grow the business. So to grow the business, I am going to have to turn to some marketing techniques with using social media. But the number one popular thing seems to be the reels, the reels on Facebook and the reels on Instagram. So I've seen a lot of that. I've heard a lot about it. So, and all you have to do is just go onto YouTube and say, how to make a reel, how to make a Facebook reel, how to make an Instagram reel. What's the difference between a reel and a story? Now's the time to get your notebooks out and start learning that. Because if you really want to grow your candle business, you know, beyond just friends and family and occasional sales, you're going to have to know this stuff. And if you don't know, maybe you have a... Um, spouse or maid or um, a, a teenage daughter or son or a friend, someone who knows about this, see if they'll take the time to teach you. You're, you're definitely going to need it to increase your candle sales as time goes on. So as of today's date, I have two stores that have said they agreed to carry my candles. And I would say to help with your candle sales, if, if that's the point where you are, um, look for the smaller specialty gift shops. Um, look for um, uh, definitely not large retail stores. I don't think that, I think they have certain routes that you take to get your products into their stores. But just to walk in, you know, a, a, a small shop, a small privately owned shop, you know, and have a little selection of your candles and don't have them in a grocery bag and, you know, have them in something neat, organized, have your business cards, have a flyer, you know, make sure that um, your website is accessible, you know, walk in, present yourself, no matter how small the shop or how quaint it is, be professional about it. And, you know, have maybe some smaller 10 candles say, hey, I have some free samples to live to... Uh, I have some free samples to leave with you. You know, there is that, I think it's the 84 rule where they say, you know, you're not going to um, see increased candle sales till you've given away 84 candles. I don't know. Look it up. Google it. I, I'm pretty sure that it is 84 candle sales. So I would say be prepared. Don't be afraid to approach these stores. Um, the worst they can do is say, oh, no, thank you. Or we already have candles. And guess what? So many people out here have knocked on a thousand doors and for every, um, I don't know, a hundred or a thousand that said, no, nope, there's going to be one that says yes. So hang in there, keep working at it. And, um, um, you know, I think anyone who puts so much effort into something, you know, progress is eventually made. So just keep pushing. 
Okay, so what is new for you guys in 2024? Number one, I'm gonna stop saying, okay, I'm putting up this particular video um, next week. I, I have to stop saying that because life is getting a little crazy right now. Things are kind of growing faster than what I had in, anticipated. But I will say this, I won't say what the video is gonna be, but I will say that my goal for 2024 is to increase the number of videos that I put up per each month. So that is my goal. And I don't know if you guys want to share your goals down below. So that is every bit uh, my life update. So um, I had wonderful holidays. My grandchildren had um, great holidays. And um, I don't have any special plans for New Year's Eve. Um, well, New Year's Eve during the day, um, I'll be posting this video. Actually, I'll have it all edited tonight and it'll be ready to go probably by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. It should be up and posted. So this was kind of a, a chatty video. I just wanted to give you a little update, what's going on, what's happening to me in the business, the candle business world and give you, you know, a few tips to go by. And um, I really just wanted to touch base with everyone and say that I wish you a very happy new year. And we are going to do some great things this year. I know we are. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, I keep saying, um, I always do this. I rattle on at the very end of these videos. Okay. Um, that's it. I don't have anything to <laughs> announce. And just, you know, stay to your course. Um, have your plan of action. Keep pushing forward. If you need motivation, just come back here and say, hey, Sherry, I need some motivation. And I'll keep, um, you know, punching out these videos and hopefully they are being helpful to you. So I am excited about doing the video about the candle making party because if you think about it, there was three ways to make money. I know this is hitting at the tail end. I always put something at the end. That's why you should watch my videos to the end because that brain comes up with one more thing to talk about. So there were sales from the party itself because I charge per person. There were candle sales from the people who attended the party from my candles that I had setting around. And then there were leads to other parties to be done in the future. So I say that is a triple th not triple threat, triple play. Yeah, a triple play. So that is definitely um, something. And, and I have geared up in my equipment. And I will be showing you my equipment, how I store it, um, what I learned from that, doing that party, um, how I could have been better prepared. So that and I do have um, a candle fragrance review from Candle Science. I actually wanted to get past the holidays because I didn't realize there were so many holiday fragrances that I had in that. And it's a bit late now for the holiday fragrances. So I wanted to switch some things up. So the candle making party will come next and then a candle science review. And I just said I wasn't going to say what they were going to be. So maybe not necessarily in that order, but that is what I have planned for this time. Okay, so that's it. And oh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that little button down below. And when the little bell comes up, click on the bell and you'll be notified when I put up new videos. And welcome to my newbies. Um, hello to all my regular friends that are always on here. Um, boy, this channel is growing. It's growing really fast. And um, thank you again to my private members. And hopefully I'll be punching out some more information to you guys that is only for private members. And that's it. I'm going to say goodbye. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.